Helen, can you put the screen, the slide, please? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Can you hear Ellen? Okay, Ellen, I can't hear you, but good afternoon. SME United. Please help us to share this live streaming and like our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel right at the button below. Okay, Ellen is coming in right now. Okay, next okay. page, please. Okay. SME United is a platform for exchange and collaboration and networking for all the different SME owners and entrepreneurs to come together to share ideas on business transformation in technology, digitization, and innovation in order for us to thrive in this volatile environment. Alan Luke has 20 over years as an accountant and auditor, and he works for major MNCs and list local listed companies. Cloud Consulting is a business consultant and we specialize in accounting, taxation, and we are also consultant for government grants, a registered uh, company secretary, and also into uh, digitization for zero and HR easily. 
So Cloud Consulting is a PMC. So we are an approved consultant for government grants. So we work with SMEs to get uh, government grants in order to work on different uh, business transformation projects. And we are also a Lean Six Sigma agent, which means that we specialize in doing processes to help SMEs to go lean in their companies. Now, Six Sigma got different belt. Uh. We are in back belt. Yeah, you have yellow and green belt. Back belt is a higher level. So we are very good in process improvement. So these are our accreditations. Today, we will highlight about HR Easily. HR Easily is a cloud-based uh, software system where it will help you to manage all your HR needs, HR management in your payroll and in claims and attendance and in all the different functions of your HR needs. Okay, thank you, Jose. Like just now got technical issue. I just want to repeat today our topic is EDG grant, but uh, we focus on human capital development grant. Human, not robot. Humans are very complicated, right? We have emotion, we have feeling. So to meet, monitor or, or build a team is not easy. That's why we have a child department. So to develop the human capital, we need some resources. I hope today the EDG grant on human resource, a human capital development grant will help you how to get a grant and to build your team. So this is our team. Our team is three major, is three, but we have a lot of staff working for us also. Uh, uh, you contact me anytime you want or consulting, email me or call me. Today, I uh, actually uh, talk about human, right? Human actually, uh, or it's uh, like like thousand years ago uh, in China, there's a, a, a scholar called Manchus. Uh, he's already mentioned that the strategy to success, one of the key elements is human harmony. Human harmony, ren he. So that means that we build a team or, or human resources or human capital, we must make the team harmonious. Uh, so in uh, of course we have right time and favorable environment but 50 percent go to human harmonies so in the uh, remember there's a movie called radcliffe the radcliffe actually uh, we are coming to control the time and environment but we still need tony learn uh, tony learn is uh, acting as zhou yu as the general he is the one to unite the whole army and team even his Wife. His wife, you know what? His wife is not in his army, but his uh, his wife uh, go to seduce and 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 also control the uh, Chao Chao. Uh, he risk her life in order to assassinate the uh, enemy. So even Zhou Yu's wife also uh, is a team team player. <laughs> not easy, right? So human factors are important. So today we are talking about human capital development. So for the EDG grant, uh, it's, a, it's a very broad uh, uh, scope. We have core capability, we have innovation and productivity, and the market access. You know, everyone have a lot of subsect sub sector. So today we still focus on core capability, and one of them is human capital development. The whole idea of core capability is to upgrade your business for future growth, not only the current growth. Uh, that's why we look a lot about strategies. Uh, you build up your different uh, core capability. So including financial management, human capital development, business strategies, service excellence, marketing and branding. You remember you want any one of this grant, remember, Cloud consultant, consulting, we are uh, able to help you and get the grant to build and upgrade your business. Human capital development grant, so you see, is to build your team. It's not a, maybe one person or 10 people, maybe hundreds of people. Of course, to, sort of, to uh, meet the criteria as a SME, uh, less than 200 uh, employees. You can get like maximum 80% of the grant, but you're not an SME, you have more than 20 workers, 
it's okay. You still can apply, but the supporting level is a 60%. Now come to human resources management framework. Uh, you go for MBA or business study, you, you have all these kind of things. But just like for SME, a boss, uh, you know, you everything is about business. But what's the framework of human resources? The first thing is the environment. Environment is like your your integrity and your uh, corporate value, corporate culture. So you have to create a culture for your employee to follow. You know, like you remember, it's a company called Enron. It collapsed in 2002 and be, uh, the, one of the greatest fraud in, in history because the company culture is to cheat. <laughs> <laughs> you look at all the historical data about Enron, it's true that the whole management is like, get me the money, that's all, I don't care how you do it. So we need to create an, a good uh, culture and value for the company. Employment is for you to, it's one of the areas, the most employment, uh, important areas to how to get the right people and retain the right talent in the company to work for you. Yeah, you say in future there's a lot of robots and machines, but you still need human to control the robot and, and the machine. So you still need to recruit the right people and develop. Develop means it's like you have the people on board, you orientate them, feed them with the culture, but you have to develop and train them because human beings need to grow. They cannot just, I mean, from, from a kids to, to a human, it increase, it grow in size, but at, this, at the same time, we grow in like skill or, or whatever, or emotionally. So development is important. And compensation and benefit, of course, you have to pay them. The agents really, right? You have to pay them and do the job for you. So a staff, a volunteer and a pay staff is totally different ball game. So when, when, when you come to the reality, you have to pay them. Well, well, it doesn't mean you pay them a lot. It's according to a job. Employee a, a, a relationship, especially like those uh, industry, like pharmaceutical, like they're make, making a lot of money, like they're highly demand uh, industry. They need good employee. And they, if they don't have a good employee engagement program, the staff would go. So employee relationship is very important. What happened is like you need your staff to help you to do OT to 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 really uh, meet the deadline. You need a good relationship for them to go extra mile. So this is the basic framework for human resources. Uh, from the uh, framework, when we fit into the enterprise Singapore supporting uh, scope, uh, this is the area uh, the enterprise Singapore will support environment, look at the culture, employment, basically it's like empower, manpower planning. You have to plan how many workers, right? Then from there, you have to design their job, then uh, or redesign the job. So when someone resign, you have to recruit or you have a new job, then you recruit a person to fill in the job. So basically you, you have a manpower plan, then you know how to recruit what kind of people. And when they come in, orientation, you we have to fit them into your culture. That's why you have the orientation. Uh, welcome, you're a new employee. And then, but you have to, uh, uh, to comply with our company policy. You cannot smoke in, in the office. Uh, no harassment or sexual harassment in the office. No office romance. Do something like even you have the details like in the employee handbook. Uh, working from home. So, so the priority is at home or working. So <laughs> it's a lot of uh, clients actually have headache on, on this. So we put it in the employee handbook and they can follow. Or with a placement, let's say you have staff, uh, put it in out of Singapore. So you, you need to know how to do the international vulnerability. So you have them on board, then you have developed them just now I mentioned, right? So you must get train them evaluate the performance so that you can advise what kind of training they can go for and develop as an employee and an individual personal. So a lot of time, like let's say for example, I joined Deloitte. I tell you, consulting firm, we have to go for extra, extra, extra mile. But I love to work there, although we have to like 
work overtime, even overnight, but we still want to uh, work there because it is a lot of learning experience. When I learn, I grow, and I have increased my own personal value. Uh, so that's why the um, training to main, retain the talent is very important. Of course, compensation and benefit is money. Money is everything, but without not everything, but without money, you cannot get anything. <laughs> so I worked for a Japanese uh, company before, two of them actually. The pay is average, not very high, but I love the culture because the job security, the communication, and everything is very, it's a job safety. That's why I want to join them, although the pay is not very high, but their bonus is very good. They really share the profit to you. So it's really about how you engage the relationship with the employee and communicate with them. So you know when I was uh, at Deloitte or at Honeywell, they always have town hall, town hall uh, meeting. Town hall meeting is that like you go in the hall and then and then you have free drink, then the CEO will, will give you a speech to talk about the company issue, and everybody have a very good communication directly from the president. Like COVID-19, and every time we have our president to talk to us, we feel so happy and so, uh, we're so proud as a country. So communication is very important. Uh, basically, all this cover the scope for the EDG grant. Like Michael Jordan, you know who is Michael Jordan, right? I don't think anyone don't know him. Nah. So he say he is a talent, so he can win the game. But in order to be champion, uh, must need teamwork. So this is not from me. Uh, it's from uh, uh, Michael Jordan. He win many, many. He lead the team many, many uh, times. You know, whenever Michael Jordan is there, uh, there are more, 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 uh, more uh, achievement. Uh, more goal. The other one is from Henry Ford. It's very interesting. Sharing is like when coming together is a beginning. Yeah, you create the right team. When they're new, they come together. It's a good beginning. But when keeping together is a progress because sooner or later some leave. If you can retain the talent and they work longer for you, is a progress. Now they are day after time, and we can work together. It's a success. Again, teamwork is about working together and then become champion. And now today we share a proposed project. So when we apply an EDG grant for a human capital uh, development, so we will probably follow this guideline. It's a combination of the scope and the approach. Uh, the title is about Human Capital Development Process Improvement. Trust me, a straightforward title. Straightforward. Don't, 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 don't use a fancy title. It's very, very uh, easy. It's a process improvement. Objective is to improve human resources management. So the main area, that means it's like, not only one area, we will develop and do a gap analysis of these four areas, employment, development, conversation, and employee relationship. There's a, let's say we, we apply the grant for you, we say clearly the approach is interview, talk to your staff, review your report, review your document. One of the most important process is a look at your workflow review. Is there any Gap to improve. Gap analysis. Gap analysis is more to like a benchmarking. Look at the best practice and compare to what you're doing now, and then we recommend from there. So that's why we have a recommendation report. And finally, we are training. The benefits in this project and the client, he will recruit and select and retain right talents, a better employment management and a better child development. So we will develop their KPI, balance scorecard, so every employee will know what they need 
to achieve in order to get promotion or to get bonus or got a get agreement. So when we have this KPI and they know that what kind of training when they evaluate their performance, they align the corporate ob objective. Let's say we have we have an objective what a hundred million sales for next year. So everybody will work at the same uh, goal and the possibility to achieve it is very high. When we evaluate the job, then probably we know that there's a fair conversation, conversation to talk to the staff, say, hey, yeah, you have more workload now. Somebody resigned, you take over it. So you have to give them uh, more conversation. Uh, better employment engagement. So after the project, they, the, the client will have this benefit. Process scope. Scope meaning is like when we do a consulting project, we must have a consulting process under the scope. The scope is important. So for this project, the scope we narrow down is to four areas, employment, development, conversation, and employee relationship. It's very clear what we are going to do in this project. For employment, first thing is job description. So if there are 10 jobs, we look at the 10 jobs. If there are 20 jobs, they will look at the job any duplication, any missing link. So we will put into different job description. So when someone resigns, then we recruit, right? Then we recruit according to the job description. And then uh, we have a right policy for recruitment and selection. Uh, what is the steps to uh, uh, shortlisting and interview or something? Orientation, of course, we get a good uh, 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 new employee. How to orientate them? So we develop an employee handbook for the clients. Develop. So it's one of the major process also to develop a performance evaluation process. That means it's KPI. Basically, it's an SOP for individual, everyone. Everyone, we have a SOP, so scary, but it's, it's better to have one that you know that. When you talk to your boss, hey, I achieve all of this, you must get me the promotion, something like that, right? <laughs> so training and development and career career path. So especially those talent, they want to know mm, what is my next step in the company. That's why it come out a succession plan. Conversation. So uh, let's say remember last time I worked for uh, Deloitte. They really, really give us a very good conversation and, and we know how much increment we have. Every six months, they increase our salary and then after that, promotion also. So they will know exactly. That's why we want to stay in the uh, consulting firm like that. Employee relationship, uh, we'll probably do a survey and understand how is your staff or employee understand, look at the company. So to increase their communication. Okay, the wisdom number three, stories in recruiting message. <laughs> Interesting, right? So some specialists say that if you want to recruit someone uh, and especially do a, those are talent are difficult to get, uh, tell them stories. So they suggest a few, type, few kinds of stories. The first one is a vision story. You are telling your uh, company what you're, you're looking, what is it going to? Let's say, for example, your company are using AI, uh, artificial intelligence, AI for future. So you're saying that, let's say you're a car company. Oh, in future, we have no driver or car <laughs> auto. So you can tell them this is a vision story. Culture story, culture story, you can tell them what is the uniqueness of your culture in the company. It's for example, you tell a story how a team support each other to go through some difficult times. Uh, so you uh, the boss are how generous they, they are, how are the staff are actually going extra smile to help them. Or you can give them a challenger story. You can quote some top performer and how they go through all difficulties and become a, a top performer in the company. So this is very good uh, story to, to recruit your staff. So it's very powerful. I remember yeah, yeah, when, I, when I was recruited by a company, like I have like two or three, three offer, I really fall in love with this kind of story and believe it and then join one of them. Just a story in recruiting is 
interesting. Okay, deliverables. When it comes to EGG grant or Enterprise Singapore grant, they are very particular of deliverables. When you tell them your approach, you have to tell them what is the end product. And then, of course, when you do the pricing, we have to uh, tag according to the deliverables. The first deliverable is high risk assessment. I will interview your high level people and identify the high risk in the capital, uh, human capital development process to improve the process. Again, probability and to happen and impacts if it happen. So this is the, the categorize is the risk is low or high and uh, not in between. Deliverable two is get analysis. I mentioned before is is like to comparing what you are doing now, your the practice of H, H, uh, human uh, resources department to a desired state is the best practice. For example, I will look at your uh, performance evaluation process. So you only use one criteria financial. So I find mm, it's not really a uh, best practice. So I will suggest you to have a uh, uh, balance scorecard, except financial, you can have training, you can have customer service and business process. Then from there, you can improve from that. So when I, as a consultant, to come to your company to do the uh, EDG grant, the gap analysis probably will include your work process. I will look at your policy procedure and uh, review your reporting. Let's say, for example, your reporting or uh, performance management. Actually, you don't have report. You don't really document it. So I would suggest you to document it. And one more thing is reporting is like a personal file. I find a lot of companies, they don't have really uh, a very good uh, personal file uh, system. So to use a cloud-based uh, like HR easily, uh, HR uh, um, software, you can document all the company, de uh, the employee details, and uh, the, the improvement, the increment history. So it's very important. A third deliverable is SOP or policy procedures. So in each child, there's a lot of policy procedure is maybe we document to how to recruit and how to shortlist and select. So then, I, or maybe the um, employee handbook, uh, this is all the uh, SOP we need to document. So for this project, we document the KPI process, the performance evaluation process, to suggest them to use balance scorecard to evaluate the uh, employees. We don't why it's very important when the early of the year, we document the balance scorecard. What's the criteria financial customer? Customer means it's like, uh, we, we need to be nice to the customer. Any good feedback from the customer, maybe I need for the whole year, I need at least 10 good complement from the customer. So uh, it cannot be more than five complaint or 10 complaint, something like that. Business process is for you to tell the, uh, the staff, hey, every year you as an employee, you must like uh, suggest five process improvement tips how to improve the process okay learning and growth is like they must have a minimum let's say like four uh four hours or four days training for the whole year so for them to grow job description like this is a documentation it's not an sop it's like a document yeah we also can because the client don't have a managed uh, uh, uh staff like 10 to 20 so we tell them and draft the job description for all the job according to the title rules and responsibility education requirement working experience requirement and skill requirement then you will understand whether your current staff is uh, meet the requirement and to train them or at the same time you the company let's say for example you need someone to know how to use ai technology to do the work, then you don't have uh, this kind of people in the company, so we could want that. Employee handbook. Employee handbook is something like you you get your uh, employee, right? First thing in the company you come in is the orientation. You give them a handbook. 
So uh, it's supposed to be welcome them, right? Welcome, welcome. You're welcome to the company. You're very good. But at the same time, you have to tell them the rules and regulation in the company. No smoking. Uh, 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 no uh, no personal uh, uh, staff uh, during the working hours. Uh, or uh, you don't have uh, office romance. Uh, something like that. You can state all the rules and cook or conduct, you know, you need to be ethical. And also, you know, you uh, should not be a uh, power abuse. It must be fair, something like that, right? And then when you clearly state that, uh, although it's a handbook, it's a guideline, but it's not an employment contract. <laughs> Sometimes uh, the employee get the handbook, employee handbook, and then when they resign, they say, hey, your handbook, your handbook say that, say this. No, it's not a contract. But anyway, it is some guideline they need to really uh, follow. So ask them to sign after they read the employee handbook and give them a little book. Delivery book four, recommendation report. So this is the end product I will give to you. I tell you again, easily 50 to 100 pages to talk about what's the problem, what is the best practice and the action plan and recommendation. Finally, it should be training. Training is uh, more to opening conference, closing conference. Because it's about human capital, we will have some teamwork training also. Wisdom number four, like something for you to think about it. There's a word, there's a sentence called human relationship movement. It's not like a human relationship about uh, in your family or what. It's a working place. So they are telling uh, the um, uh, management how to really engage your staff and create a human relationship among the management and the team. So they suggest uh, to inform or to, to really inform the st uh, staff, hey, just treat your work naturally. Naturally means it's like naturally like you're having your breakfast, naturally, naturally like read a book, or naturally you, you 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 enjoy your movie. So work is just naturally part of your life. So make them like don't over stress <laughs> in the work. Share them with the big picture. What's uh in future in five or ten years? What's uh, uh, uh next step of a company? Show that they engage. Uh, they they feel a part of the family. Empower the employee. Give them empowerment to do their job. I might quote. Management, it doesn't work for really like talents. Train and develop them and reward success. And when they have su success and achievement, don't blur, blur, and egg blur. <laughs> you need to really reward them. So to improve the relationship. So now we come to almost the end of the training, but I just repeat what's the administration where let's say we, we are. Uh, do the ETG grant is to, for example, your your grant is forty thousand. Then you pay eight thousand. Let's say you, uh, you are ten thousand, so you only pay eight hundred thousand. Uh, eight hundred dollars. Uh, uh, ten thousand. Uh, okay. So, uh, so in, uh, what happened is that everything is eighty uh, percent at this moment. But after this year, December will be go. I probably they say lah that uh, you go only until end of. December. Next year, I don't know. Maybe they carry on 80%. Maybe they will drop back to 70%. Apply. Get a consultant like me to help you. So, and then you must be a registered company in Singapore. You have a UEN number. The local sharing is more than 30%. And probably you have three years financial statement. Okay. The, at the end of the day, you follow the Enterprise Singapore. The guideline it's quite trim la. It's a <laughs> basically a rule of education that we we as a consultant know better so we can advise you execution when you apply you accepted you will have a letter offer from the enterprise singapore and then look at the qualifying cost and period so you must complete the project before the qualifying period when you claim, again, uh, we highlight this already. Until now, to December is 80%. If you are not an SME, 
you still can apply this, but the supply apply uh, supporting level is sixty percent at this moment. Still not bad, right? You let's say you want me us to do a HR uh, project for your company, you are listed, or even you 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 are already hundred uh, millions a year. You still can apply. You come to us. We are experienced in listed company and non SMD. After that, you you audit third. We audit your invoice, the payment, the supplier. Everything done. They will drive and pay you back and claim the eighty the eighty percent will go to your bank. So why why do this EDG grant in this COVID nineteen? Of course, I, I emphasize few times is like now it's eighty percent. Normally, it's ninety seventy percent only. So at the end of the day. Uh, now is the time to improve your core capability. Uh, when everybody work from home, right? You still can do it because we have a lot of technology for meeting, uh, technology for look at your uh, we build your report. Okay, the final takeaway is. Uh, it's because we talk about human relationship. So there's some word that strike me is a people person. So when we get good relationship, we, we, we must let some get someone they have social skills and like to interact with people. Okay, so we must try to have a win-win situation, not not a win-lose situation. Even you're losing yourself and they're not not good. It must be win-win situation, both party to win together. And we have a great relationship. You have to give and take, lah, because appreciating the similarity and respecting the differences. Okay, thank you very much. But before I go, Jose, you want to say something? Okay. Normally, it will take about at least four weeks or more to get your grant application approved, and then the uh, once it's approved, then we will kick off the project and then it will may take up to two to three months to complete the projects and then after that when we conclude we will submit for claims that will take another one to two months so the entire process takes at least five to six months so now is the right time to actually uh, make use of all the different grants especially this is in HR um, human capital development you can actually contact Alan at uh, Alan at cloudconsulting.com. Cloud is double O. Or you can check out some details from our website, www.cloudconsulting.com. So do feel free to reach out to us. And uh, at this moment, we really want to help all the different SMEs to really take these opportunities to build up your core capabilities, transform your company in order to move forward to create new growth and new revenue streams for your companies. Thank you very much. Over to you, Alan. Thank you very much. So we'll see you in next week. And I hope you enjoy your weekend. Thank you. Thank you.